what up my peeps it's been a minute since we've done a rando i know because like i have like the memory of a goldfish and all that jazz you know there we go murphy anyway i hope you guys are doing wonderful today i missed you all vacation's been a shit kittens also has been a shit too this is for someone who's wasting time this time that's queer we're reading for today so everybody Return visitors, newcomers, fellow practitioners, and weirdos such as myself and everybody else in between. This is an all signs reading, right? You just boop your nose, away it goes. Because if it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't matter. Nor should you be worried about something that ain't none of your damn business. Right? Right. So, don't fret none, y'all. If this is your story or someone you know's story, I don't know. Go with it. Because I have no idea what the hell's going on. That's just how I be. Yes. Alright, so... First off, we got the two of wands. Someone needs to make a choice. They're looking back at the past to make that choice. This clearing also is in a situation where they feel betrayal by somebody. Right on the shore. Look, bleeding right on the fucking shore of the ocean. Craziness, right? This is really angled down really low, but that's okay. I just probably need to move Edward back. No, this is Gordon. Never mind. My piggy's name is Gordon. That's beside the point, though. So, let's see. Wants and wishes is to move forward with the chariot with this querent. But their obstacle and challenge is hanging on to shit from the past instead of looking at the fiery cup of the future. Uh, fears and rejections. Use, uh, King Cups possibly can't surprise Scorpio, but it really don't matter. I'm using their intuition, their emotions to figure shit out. How this does shit. La 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 la. Thank you very kindly. How this shit starts, how it'll end. Eight of Wands. Reverse, nothing happening. An offer that's still born. Ain't coming into fruition. Like, someone could offer it, but it ain't gonna make a difference. Mmm. Like, someone's afraid someone's gonna get an idea in their head about something, right? But it's like, if a betrayal's gonna, if a betrayal happens, It'll propel someone to move forward like they want to, but for some reason it's all stalled up. It's waiting. Nothing's going on with it. Right? Right. So let's see. Yeah, this person who's trying to make a choice, they're letting their candle burn brighter than the sun, a.k.a. they're trying to make their truth the truth, which never really works out in anyone's favor in order to make things happen or cause a change to erupt. Two seconds. We need to take off this top. Okay, there we go. Sorry. I was burning to death. Anyway. But yeah, this querent for their energy, they're trying to, it's like they're trying to convince themselves of something in order to make a change. Now, with the situation down below, we got a queen of pentacles. Ah, Capricorn Virgo, she's got her back turned to a situation that seems like it's going to be resurrected, but someone is coming to the truth about something. Hmm. Now, what is that about? I wonder. Hmm. Why is this Queen of Pentacles got her back to her, but there's a resurrection right here? But the King of Swords is reversed. If the Emperor comes out, he's not a good person to be dealing with. But there might be a resurrection with an air sign or an earth sign. Hmm. It's like she's too busy doing her own shit to notice that there's a resurrection with an asshole. You know. Could lead to a dream come true. But someone's stalling instead of taking action. Right? They're not doing whatever they're supposed to do. Wants and wishes is the chariot to move forward, to continue ahead, to gain a victory one way or another. Especially after some sort of heartbreak happens. That someone let happen by pretending to be fucking asleep while everything was on fire. Just like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Mm. Square's got a weird ass personality, I gotta tell you that much, y'all. Let me tell you something, my vacation has not been a vacation. It's just been me doing all sorts of other shit instead of cards, and that was driving me crazy. Oh my god, I've been wanting to read for a while, and it's just been like, hey, let's lift this up a little bit. 
That's a little better. Yeah. Now you can look at my tits. There we go. That's for all the male and possible bisexual, lesbian, whatever women. You know, I, I cater to all of y'all. Anyway, let's see. Obstacles and challenges, everybody. Someone's lingering on something from the past to maybe on to the future. It might have been a mistress that gets exposed, a Cancer or Pisces. Once again. And that's going to avert the tower. What tower? What the, what the? Okay. The readings have been weird and crazy for me since before vacation, right? But it's definitely a queer it or a set of people who are all kerfluffled and confused about what they're trying to do, right? But somebody got a mistress, but that mistress comes out to prevent a tower from happening. Hmm. Let's see. King of Cups over here. Fears of rejections. Someone's afraid he's going to feel like he's going to want to fight. Be like, oh, there's conflict somewhere. Like he's going to pick that up or something. Doesn't want to feel like a fool about how he's not going to be emotionally fulfilled. It definitely could be water sign this querent is or dealing with. Either way, they're terrified of this person just being like, I'm going to beat your ass. Or they got a lot more anger than what they thought they did. Why this shit isn't happening? Well, how this starts, how it'll end? Someone still isn't looking at oh, what could be. Or trying to move on from some situation they re regret. In order to be with a new person. This querent. This querent's afraid of love. That's why they're stalling. That's why they're wasting time. It's like, they know they're in love. But it's like... I don't know, it's almost like an Aquarius that talks themselves out of falling in love by, like, being detached all the time. You know, but that's just jailing yourself in the end, you know? Let's see. Beginning theme is, like, this offer is becoming a stillborn? Why is that? Because there's a Queen of Cups here who's all bitter, mad, and now she's being dramatical. She's bored. And she's dramatic as fuck. Counterpart to this King of Cups, right? So someone's definitely dealing with somebody who's potentially a counterpart to. How romantic. Querent, either you're the one making shit up in your head. Or you are just so disillusioned with what you think that you want that you have no idea, but you're willing to just do whatever, you know? All your options are out in your energy or your whatever. And this third party situation might lead to a breakup. So yeah, this is, okay, yeah. What is with all these third parties? I have literally been picking them up a lot. Everybody's like in a third party or some shit. I don't know. One more. You might need to work on something, though. Or set something in stone. Like, you're gonna leave the third party and go with the person you want to be with? Will that work? Ooh. I'll give you four. Um, in the situation here, someone really wants to be saved by a person... He's coming to look for the secrets. The moon, once again, could be that mistress. Might be embracing an animal right here or just your strengths in order to give a little bit. Get a little bit of my love to you. In the form of a pentacle. But someone feels like a gnome. Oh, I didn't even know that was in there. But this already apparently is going to bring a new start. That wasn't even supposed to be there. Huh. Um... It's just going to take a little bit of patience and a little bit of sacrifice. Yeah. Wants and wishes. Oh, that's backwards. My bad. I don't like looking at my cards when I shuffle because that's weird. King of Pentacles reversed. Once again, an earth sign. Could be this counterpart to the Queen of Pentacles. He was up here earlier. Yeah, this person, like, it's like, when they offer shit, it's not really all that good. It's like sabotage, almost. 
I'm telling y'all it's sabotage. Na 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 na. Yeah, it's like this person's gonna sabotage everything getting set up or whatever. Because they already fell asleep. Like, or they went to bed. One of the two. Like, they want to move forward. Someone wants to move forward, but it's like, you know, there's gonna need to be discussions first. Someone's gonna need to delegate and make some rules and regulations. I was telling somebody this, but I can't remember who it was. It was in one of the Zodiacs. I was telling somebody they need to be really careful. Hmm. So interesting. Okay. Obstacles and challenges. I know this is six ways. I just felt like doing it this way today. Just to get back into motion. Because I, I gotta get back into like my habits. Or else I won't. But it's gotta be nice and slow and easy. Someone still isn't offering anything. Maybe this querent wants to be approached about this prospect, but they don't know how to approach it themselves. But they're expecting somebody to come up to them, but it's like this person's stuck in the past. Like, they're too scared to, you know. And it makes somebody feel sick. That's sad. It's like someone's waiting for another person. But it's like, they're not delivering what they should be. But I feel like both people don't, or, or, or whoever is in here, I feel like y'all don't know. You know, like you're coming to a dis agree to disagree, but you don't don't realize that like, you both agree. It's, it's almost like you're so much, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm getting, but it's almost like the querent and whoever it is they're thinking about are so much alike that they don't even realize it. But if they paid attention to how they act, they'd realize how the other person acts. It's not mirroring, it's almost mimicking. Because mirroring is doing the exact opposite, but still getting the same results. Like a mirror. Like, this is my right hand. But to me right now, it looks like my left hand looking at the camera. But when by the time you guys see this video, it's going to be my right hand. But for me, it's my left hand. That's mirror. It's the exact opposite shit, but it's doing the exact same things I'm doing. It's not this whole, like, you know, oh, you guys are doing the exact same thing, so you're mirroring. No, that's mimicking. Mirroring is doing the opposite of each other. I don't, like, that's just how I see it. You don't have to agree with me, though. I promise. But, as, but it makes more sense that way. Fears and rejections with this king of cups. Won't let shit get buried. They won't bury anything. It's like they keep feeling something. And they need to communicate that shit, too. I, I, I'm i gonna... Someone's afraid that their person is not going to want to be with them. But they don't want to end it, either. You know. Once again, this tower is avoided twice. Not once. Twice. Okay, I'm sorry. So. Queerant. Are you repeating his are you repeating a cycle or history or something? Are you going through the motions of something you did a while ago or years ago and it's coming up again now, but almost different circumstances. I mean, like I know this is a new decade and shit, so like everything's completely different than what it was before. But I, I explained this in one of my things. I think it's like high lows and like spirals and shit, right? You know, cycles aren't a straight line or a heartbeat, it's a spiral. And you always come back to repeat the same shit in a spiral. If that's your destiny to do so. Might not be. I'm one of those people who are on a spiral. And I have to keep repeating certain things. Because like if I don't. I'm not completing my contract. Because that's what I'm here for. But that's beside the point. The point is. I feel like you two are on a spiral kind of contract. And you're going through something. In order to change the outcome. But I feel like you're not changing the outcome or you're afraid of changing the outcome or whoever you're dealing with is afraid of changing the outcome because like it's too uncomfortable. It's it's not familiar. Like what's going to happen if I do this? What happens if I try this or whatever, right? How shit starts, how it'll end. Yeah, someone can't let the fuck go of what makes them feel secure. They're hanging on to it like a fucking teddy bear or a blanket. Um, 
They they can't let go in order to get themselves out of the cold. One more. And that is based on the fact of separation. This okay, queer it. Let me tell you something. First off, you're not gonna get what you think that you're going to get. It's it, like you know. I feel like the words. I'm used to it. It's like a fear. Cause I don't I don't know what the fuck I'm talking to right now. Um You know, just because you're used to something doesn't mean you have to take it, you know. Like through my experience in life and my hard headed ways, I've learned that um you can get used to something for a really long time. But once, but once you get a taste of something different, it's like, why do you want to, why do you want to stay with the same shit? Yeah, I was in an abusive relationship for over a year, right? And I got used to that shit. And then I got a taste of something different. And then it was like, why am I with somebody who treats me so poorly? Not saying that that's your case, Queer, but I'm just using my life as an example because that's what people love about me most is the fact that I bring up my own life and shit. But that's sarcasm. Anyway, um, after finding a taste of something that was a little bit of a better life, um, I realized it would be better to get out of a nasty relationship than stay in it just because I was used to it. Like, I, you know, you can be used to anything. Sure. I mean, it's really easy to... I'll, it's really good. It's really easy to get used to how someone treats you. Yeah, Dragon Age 2, my favorite game. A character named Fenris said, um, a slave doesn't realize they're a slave until they have a taste of freedom. Which I feel like is almost the case here. It's like someone's too dramatic and nettled and they'll let a, a, a prospect die. Querent. Let's drop three more and see what we can get advice for you. Can you give three cards for advice for this Querent, please, if you don't mind? Okay, so look at right, Queer it. Even if this person survives what you put them through or what they put you through, going into the cookie jar isn't helping you because it's just stalling you out. Like, yeah, it'd be really easy to go to this point, but once again, you're going to be averting the tower. And the tower destroys illusions and destroys things that aren't good for you. It, it, it's falling brings up a new foundation. And to keep ignoring... Creating a new foundation, I feel like, is stalling you out. You, like, I don't know who this is, but it's like, the words, I'm used to it keeps popping up. And it's like, don't get used to that shit. You don't have to get used to anything. Just because you're used to something doesn't mean anything. You know, you can use something all day long. That doesn't mean it's not useless. You know, I can use toilet paper to wash my fucking cat. And then she's going to get stuff everywhere. Did I use it? Yeah. Is she used to it? Sure. But now she's got fuzzies everywhere that's made of paper. That disintegrates in water, which makes it way more harder to clean out of her fur than what I'd prefer, right? So, let's understand. Just because you're used to something does not mean that it is useful to you, your body, your mind, your emotions, and more importantly, your soul. Whatever the fuck that is. So, I don't know who this queer it is. You guys to decide. I feel like I'm rusty. But, it's whatever. I will talk to you guys later. I love your faces. Bye-bye.